Well guys, today we're going to show how to test an IP camera. This model is a VivoTech IP8136W. And we're going to test real quick this camera and we're going to show you how to test it. There we go. First thing uh, we're going to do is we're going to plug the power in. This camera needs a 12 volt 1 amp uh, AC adapter to work. So we're going to plug it in and we'll see what's the reaction of the LED in the front. Okay, we just plugged it in and we have to give it a few seconds. It takes a while for the OS to load. This camera cups comes uh, with a open BSD uh, operating system inside that runs a couple of uh, services an HTTP service and another FTP service the first thing you're gonna see is the red light that comes on a solid red light that means uh, power is on and then after it runs probably some kind of self test it will start looking for a network connection okay after the initial power on uh, it confirmed with the red light uh, we're gonna um, reset it to factory settings we do that by uh, pushing a button that it's on that little hole that says reset for that we can use just a paper clip we're gonna do the paper clip on that little hole and we're gonna hold it for 10 seconds Okay, we're going to push that little button for the reset for 10 seconds. And then we'll see that there is a green and red light flashing. That means it's going to reset to factory settings. We have to give it a couple of minutes to reset everything to factory settings and then we'll uh, come back. All right, after a couple of minutes of going in cycles between um, solid red and flashing red and green, uh, the light will go back to solid red and then it will turn to light green like uh, you see right now. I'm not sure if the camera captures it, the color, but it's a light green. So now it's time for us to plug in a network cable, an Ethernet cable on the Ethernet port on the back of the camera. As soon as we plug it in, the light on the front will turn solid green, not light green anymore, and then we just give it a few seconds until uh, it uh, gets uh, an IP address from our uh, router, from our network router. Once it gets an IP address assigned, the light will start flashing green. And that means that it's already connected to our network and that's connected through a wire Ethernet cable. And now we're going to the computer to see how we um, do the settings for wireless. Okay. Once we have our camera uh, connected to our router, uh, we are going to take advantage of a free application that you can find online. You can just Google it. It's called Advanced IP Scanner. This application will uh, let us know what devices are connected to our network. It will give us a list of the IP addresses and the MAC addresses of every single device that we have connected. Uh, just Google it and you can download it for free. Now we're gonna click a scan here to do a little scan and the application will start scanning what devices are connected to our network, to our local area network. It will start giving us a list of all the devices we have. As you can see our camera is showing up with the IP address uh, 192.168.1.151 
uh, we know it's the camera because the uh, manufacturer shows up as VivoTech and also uh, we can match the address, the MAC address of the device which is uh, uh, unique for every electronic device the MAC address matches what we have as you can see the MAC, the MAC address there uh, ends up with um, 2A80 and if we go to the camera we can see here that it is 2A80 2A8. So what we do now, we go back to the um, IP scanner, we open its drop-down arrow, the drop-down box, and you see both services running on that camera, HTTP and FTP. What we do is we right-click there and we connect. And then a browser will open up, and the browser will show us uh, what the camera is uh, showing, you know, is the video stream is right there. Now, this software has uh, three different video streams, but um, I'm not sure why I don't see any of the others. It's probably a different uh, codec. But on video stream number two, we see what the camera is seeing there. And that's it. You know, that's it so far. Uh, you can go to the configuration page. You know, uh, you can turn off the LED indicator on the front of the camera with this, just by checking this checkbox and doing save. And also, you can go to your network settings. And here under wireless, you can set up your network settings. You can put your uh, wireless um, name, SSID name, and the password if you want to connect the camera wirelessly instead of uh, through Ethernet cable. So I hope this uh, helps you guys uh, testing your uh, IP cameras. This camera is used by uh, several uh, surveillance companies and uh, alarm companies here in the US and it's a pretty good camera still and it has, you know, the the capability to have the night shot too you know so it's a good camera so um, if you have any questions or comments just uh, put it down below the video and uh, we will uh, be the next time showing you another test from our electronics here at War Electro Parts